insides had rotted away. Now it's made of clay or wood or leather or metal or bamboo. Sometimes it's round or square or tall, and most of the time it has no feet at all. In musical groups of today, all kinds of drums are mixed and matched, sounds and rhythms from everywhere coming together. For you see, all countries, all cultures, all people share the drum. move to its beat and listen to its call. Why don't you make a new friend, make a new friend, make a new friend today? Why don't you make a new friend, make a new friend, make a new friend today? When you do the best you can So hold out your hand Oh, show off your style Everything is beautiful I see it in your smile
America is a nation of many parts. Each part different, each beautiful. Our people come from nearly every nation on earth. Our customs come from many different cultures. And the language we speak, while mainly English, is filled with words loaned to us from a dozen different tongues. When we say tea, silk, or ketchup, we are using words loaned to the American language by the Chinese. When we say yam, cola, chimpanzee, or gorilla, we are using words borrowed from the languages of Africa. Domino, <coughs> cigar, banana, guitar, and parade are just a few of the words in our language that came to us from Spanish-speaking peoples. In Spanish, mixed with Mexican, give us such Chicano words as sombrero, rodeo, and bronco. The languages of the Native Americans of the South have given us the names for cocoa, potato, chili, chocolate, and many other delicious things. So the next time you say zebra, or avocado, or tea, or bronco, you are not only speaking American, but African, Native American, Chinese, and Chicano words as well. Martin. Right now, my biggest wish is to get a pet snake. I've been trying to talk my mother into it. Martin, what is the matter? Nothing. Are you going to read the Dear Abby call? Why should I read the Dear Abby call? Is it funny? Have you read it, John? Well, um, yeah, I didn't notice it. Ah, uh, what's going on? Dear Abby, I am a 14-year-old girl who wants a pet snake with all my heart. My mother says I can't have it. I even have the money for an aquarium and have studied up on how to care for it. Please be a pal and help me convince my mother to let me have a snake, Michelle. Dear Abby, I am a 14-year-old girl who wants a pet snake with all my heart. My mother says I can't have it. Dear Michelle, your mother, like many others, is prejudiced against snakes. I see. Because she knows very little about them. Herpetologists say that a non-poisonous snake makes a wonderful pet, and you can be sure nobody will steal it. <laughs> <laughs> so you found your boa constrictor. He's so big. Mom, it's only a baby. Well, how big is he gonna be? Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he gorgeous? I named him Nigel. You'll love him. Martin, I'll tell you right now, never get to like that thing. But why, Mom? Why? Because he's not like other pets. He's scary, and he's, he's different. Boy, are you prejudiced. You don't even know him. He's not in the aquarium. Nigel, Nigel. Martin, why don't you put a leash on him? Then you won't worry about him getting lost. Do you let him sleep with you? Of course not. That's some crazy pet. 
Mine's gonna be even crazier, because I'm gonna get a pony. Oh, sure. Yeah. sure. My mother isn't gonna like this.